so that she can't bite through this flexible hose. You've got a rounded end on, on the tip, which encourages her to swallow it. And we can run the gag through the hose, and then when it's in the right place, we can turn that lock to hold it in place. We start off by putting the gag in the cow's mouth, and then we'll close the nose tongue on her nose so that we don't have to hold the gag in her mouth so that it'll stay there on its own. So, would be better on this end, Pete, wouldn't you? If you Rob, stand on her right, thing, you'd see a bit better. David, you stand on her right, that end there. and... Oh. 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 Turn her head slightly to the right, like that. And then put the gag into her mouth. Just press on the hard carrot on the top of the mouth, you should find she turns her head. And you can then run it in. Next thing to do is to run the hose in through the gag and just do it gently because that will encourage her to swallow. I don't know whether any of you can see on the left hand side, but you should see it go down the jugular groove just above a windpipe. You should see it passing down there. You want to go so that it's at a point more or less midway between her elbow and her stuff. It doesn't matter critically where you should be. If you can go to it, don't, don't pass it down too far because if you pass it down too far, then. Um, you tend to get some reflux of rooms. What I like to do myself is just to come round to this side and feel in the jugular groove. Just turning her head to the right the way I did helps and doing it gently and not you know being aggressively. Just so, go up or down or higher. No, you can't do you can't. Just give her the opportunity to swallow it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I said, I mean, it's very, very difficult to go down an airway, you know. We try to do it all the time, we're trying to knock them out for some reason. Yeah. And it's ever so difficult. The natural way is to go down you know, where we want it to go. Yeah. And as long as you don't ram it down, she will swallow yeah. it anyway. Yeah. It's ramming it down and being too forceful, I yeah. think, which is, yeah. Yeah. that's not been the problem. I think you've got to be a little bit careful with cows that are really sick. Yeah. Cows yeah. with yeah. Out. problems. So perhaps it, a cow with ketosis. Perhaps nervous, perhaps swallowing as well as you normally would. So you've got to be a little bit careful with those who aren't swallowing very well. Yeah, very good, very good point. Yeah. If you're not sure, the other thing you can do is, is, to, is unfasten this. Because I can tell you, I put it down a cow's airway once, and you can feel her breathe, actually. You can feel them breathing through here. You can usually smell the ruminal yeah, contents yeah. as well. Yeah. I'm not very good at that, but that smells a bit like a room to me. But those are, those are the things you can do. Personally, I like to feel it best of all, because if you can feel it, it's there, and it's not inside the... So have you locked that tube in place now then, David? Is that now I locked? I have locked that. Yeah. Um, it's important to lock it, because otherwise it can creep out while you're pumping. And then you can find you're pumping into the airway even if you weren't in the airway to start. And the lock is just a little blue bit on the end. Just turn that lever. Yep. And you can see that they don't really resent it. And you don't want to go mad at this. You can just pump gently. It only takes a couple of minutes to get the whole 20 litres. Then we've got, we've got 20 litres into it now, which is enough to make a difference. When we come to talk about what we're trying to do, it's not, you'll see that it's not perhaps always as much as we want, but it's certainly the minimum that's going to be useful, so it you know, didn't take long. The next thing we're going to do is unlock the, gag, unlock the hose from the gag and draw the hose out, so that she doesn't bite the hose as you take the gag out. So that's now drawn out. We can take the gag out and the job's done.